You heard right, we finally got a new Spongebob game. And today I will analyze everything we know so far. But first, let's watch the trailer again. The winner takes all. It's the thrill of one more kill. The last one to fall. Will never sacrifice their will. Don't ever look back on the world closing in. Beyond the only attack. The wings in your wind. All oh, the games will begin. And it's sweet, sweet, sweet victory, yeah, on the one who's last to fall. Okay, without further ado, let's get straight to the point. History. So for all those who are not entirely up to date about the last 10 years of Spongebob games, I will explain shortly. This is the first new Spongebob game, console game, which will not only be a cheap cash grab, we will be getting after almost 7 years. Yes, you are right, 7 years of no new Spongebob console games. We had Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated last year in 2020, but this was only a remake and not an entirely new game like this. And other than that we only had Robotic Revenge and Hero Pants in 2013 and 2015 respectively. And anyone who played these games and or watched them knows that they were not what we were waiting for. So if we don't count any of these games, the last Spongebob game was released almost a decade ago. Yes, 10 whole years. So it's about time we get another good one. About the game... Yay, 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 yay. Mm -hmm. So, the game was just announced yesterday on the 17th of September. And we don't have too much information about it at this point. So I'll just tell you shortly what we know so far. There isn't a release date for this game until now, so we have no idea when it will release. The end of this year or next year? I personally don't think it will release before 2021, though. Because Rehydrated took a long time to get released after it was announced. But really, what we really don't know, so I'm not gonna speculate too much on that. Wait. I just saw that the Steam page says coming soon, so it might not take too long until it gets released after all. But let's get to the next point. We haven't seen any gameplay until now, so we really don't know anything about how it will be played, other than that it is a 3D platformer and probably will be played similarly to BFBB and BFBB Rehydrated, or the movie or any of these games. Speaking about BFBB, I think we can say quite surely that this is not a real sequel to BFBB like some people thought, from the looks of the trailer but a complete new game. The only thing I could imagine is that BFBB's story is shortly referenced in the introduction of this game and then we will right away get into the new story. We also don't know about any multiplayer, but if it does have any I really hope it is not as bad as the multiplayer of Rehydrated. The game is developed by Purple Lamp Studios and published by THG Nordic just like Rehydrated. So hopefully they can use the experience they got from developing Rehydrated and not repeat the same mistakes. It will release for the Switch, PC, Xbox One and PS4 
so interestingly not for the new PlayStation and Xbox. That's probably due to most people still playing the older consoles and also the new consoles being uh, backwards com uh, compatible. So it really doesn't matter too much and I don't think it needs the technique from the new consoles also, so it doesn't matter anyway. It will have subtitles and interface in the following languages for anyone who cares. English, French, Italian, German, Spain, Spanish, Brazil, Portuguese, simplified Chinese, Japanese, Korean, Polish and Russian and audio in English, French, Italian, German, Sp Spain, Spanish, Japanese and Polish. Again, no Latin Spanish. My Latino friends won't be happy about that. Well, at least the Steam page says they will all be voiced by the original voice actors, so I guess we'll get Clancy Brown from Mr. Krabs this time. Hmm? Hmm? Likely not. Also, I think this means all the available languages, not just English. Characters and words. So, let's take a look at all the characters which are confirmed from the trailer and other information we have to appear in this game. Okay, so first let's take a look at the trailer. In the trailer we can see Plankton, Spongebob, Patrick as a small balloon, which will be called Balloon Patrick, some kind of purple monsters, which will probably, the, probably be the enemies of this game, Sandy, Squidward, the Flying Dutchman, Mrs. Puff, and Mr. Krabs. Okay, let's take a look at the box art and there we can see that there is also Pearl and Larry. And in the description of the story we also find the name Cassandra, which seems to be the main villain of the game and is an entirely new character since we never had heard that name before in the show. The only one of the mentioned characters that we know will be playable for now is Spongebob. Patrick seems to be a supporting character of Spongebob, like Cappy for Mario and Super Mario Odyssey or Midna for Link in Twilight Princess. So I don't think that there is a big chance that Patrick will be actually playable in his normal form. I do think though that Spongebob won't be the only playable character. Why you ask? Because the Steam description talks about it's up to our heroes. So I think that the likes of Sandy will be playable too. Also, the box art shows Pearl, Larry, Mr. Krabs and Miss Puff in different costumes. Why would they wear different costumes? What's especially curious is that Pearl wears the same kind of costume that Spongebob wears. So either you can also play these characters with the same costumes that Spongebob has, or Pearl for example wears the caveman costume because she will be an NPC in the, in the prehistoric world. But enough of guessing around. Let's get to the worlds. This game will have 7 different worlds, so considerably less than BFEB. I do think that the main bosses will not have separate levels for them this time though. And if we don't count the boss worlds in BFBB, then it only has 10 different levels and also something tells me that the worlds will be bigger this time. Also I have a feeling that they will be even more open world, but that's just my speculation. We also know that all the worlds will be so-called wish worlds. So the two confirmed worlds for example are Jesh Jellyfish Fields and Rock Bottom. Jellyfish Fields though will be Wild West Jellyfish Fields and Rock Bottom Halloween Rock Bottom. In the trailer we also see Downtown Bikini Bottom though it looks quite normal so not sure if this will be an actual world in the game. But if it is we don't know yet what its wish theme will be. There's also a world which looks like prehistoric Bikini Bottom to me and some kind of other bikini bottom with Spongebob's house as a can filled with canned pineapple. Also on the box art there is Larry in a pirate costume and pirates are also mentioned on the steam page so there will also probably be a pirate themed world from my understanding. And since knights are mentioned on the steam page as well I think there will be a medieval world also similar to the one in the episode Dances and Dragons from season 4. That's all for the world so far. What else do we know? We know the main story, which I will just read from the description of it on the Steam page. SpongeBob and Patrick meet the mysterious fortune teller Cassandra, who gives them a vial full of mermaid tears. Legend claims they grant the wishes of those who are pure of heart. 
Naturally, the best two buddies get overexcited and their flurry of wishes tears open the very fabric of space and time. All while releasing cosmic jelly onto bikini bottom and opening portals to strange wish worlds in the process. Now it's up to our heroes to rescue their friends who got lost in the wish worlds and bring back bikini bottom's most iconic buildings. But Cassandra has her own devious plan. I think most of this is quite self-explanatory. I only got a few things to add and that is that. Patrick is most likely in his normal form in the beginning of the game, but gets transformed to a small balloon version and stays like that for the rest of the game. The cosmic jelly seems to be the stuff that the monsters we saw in the trailer are made of. It also says in the description that you will have to bring back Bikini Bottom's m most iconic buildings and your friends, so probably the side characters and some buildings will be sucked into the portals to these wish worlds. Other than that, we don't know anything more about the story of this game so far. Let's shortly mention that the game will feature 101 songs from the series itself, one of them being Sweet Victory just like in the trailer, as it is mentioned on the Steam page. I hope that doesn't mean that this game will not have any original soundtrack because I personally find this quite lame. I know many of you might like this, but I don't like to have something but I like to have something original and new not something which is reused and I have heard thousands of times already, even though the Spongebob soundtrack is top notch. And also for me as a YouTuber this will make huge problems because of copyright. To be honest, that's the biggest reason for me that I don't like this idea. But since it says songs, they might be really talking about songs, so actually sing songs from the show and not about the show soundtrack. And I think that's the case. I can't imagine that they will only play synced songs in the background of this game, since that would be really weird. So there might be some kind of original soundtrack as well after all. Let's just hope for me that there will, that there will be a solution to the copyright problem with this. I actually had to sing the Sweet Victory song myself for this video in the beginning of, the, in the beginning of this video because of copyright. And my reaction video from yesterday already got copyright claimed because of the songs played in the trailer. Let's get to the last topic I want to talk about in this video and that is the costumes. The costumes seem to be a big deal in this game, since they mentioned that there will be over 30 different costumes in the game. First, let's count all costumes we have seen so far. So first of all in the trailer we can see Ben Spongebob, Spongebob in his karate gear, Sandy in her karate suit, Squidward in a costume that I don't know what it's supposed to be exactly, Caveman Spongebob, Spongebob as a snail, Western Spongebob riding a seahorse, possibly mystery. Since we see the same hair he has when he's riding mystery in the show, in his imagination after he throws away his cowboy hat. There's also Mrs. Puff in a Western costume and Spongebob as a knight. There is a medieval knight. That is all we see in the trailer. On the box art we also see Mrs. Puff dressed as a marshmallow and Larry as a pirate. Sandy in her karate suit again, Pearl in the caveman style we already saw for Spongebob in the trailer and Mr. Krabs in some kind of, sale, in some kind of salesman costume. Since pirates are mentioned in the Steam description and Larry wears a pirate outfit on the cover, I'm sure the pirate costume is also one of the mentioned ones of the Mansion 30 ones. This line in the Steam description is also interesting to note. Unlock classic and new platforming skills like the fish hook swing and karate kick. From this I conclude that every costume has its special ability and is not just for aesthetics. So for example the fish hook being the ability of the pirate costume and the karate kick being the ability of the karate costume. To be honest, I have the feeling that this game will be a little bit similar to Super Mario Odyssey, having big open worlds. In Odyssey you also have costumes which don't have abilities, but you also have capturable objects which give you special abilities. I don't think we will be able to capture objects in this game, or maybe we will. But I think the costumes itself will have special abilities. Nice. That's about all of my thoughts about this game and everything I discovered. Let me know if I missed anything and also if you like 
me doing videos like this. Subscribe, watch my other videos and support me in any way possible.